I mean, they've proven there's been studies, there's books written, music releases, serotonin. It's an addiction. I know if I'm not working on music for any great length of time, I become horribly depressed. So it's, it's just how I cope. If you're not familiar with this neighborhood, it's, you know, it's Kensington Market downtown. It's kind of the last bastion of kind of free living in, in, in Toronto. When I first saw the place, it was very dark. It was scary. It was really scary, actually. It didn't have any heat. There was no hot water. It was, it, you know, it was pretty punk rock. But ultimately, you know, the neighborhood and being in the market, that trumped everything. I was like, okay, well, this is where we want to be, and this is a perfect place to put a studio. So, you know, let's do it. You have to remember when people walk into a recording studio, they've probably spent two years writing and a year rehearsing. They walk in that door, it's like, we're here, you know, you know, we're here with our dreams, and so our job is to give them something back. We give them confidence, we give them something to, you know, to play onto. And um, that's when you get those performances. That's when you get, because they know this is it. You get the right people in a room and it's like magic, and the magic happens. It's way better now in 2012 than it was when the major label system was still happening. And the kind of success of this kind of manufactured, horrible music that was constantly in your face because that was always kind of like a barometer of success and it was constantly thrown at you like well what you're doing isn't necessarily successful I'm working in the underground and I'm building a foundation and I'm and I'm building a career since the collapse of all that stuff it's like oh you've come down to my level welcome and you know what the bands I'm working with now are the ones that are actually getting attention internationally there's no more gatekeepers there's no more anything there's no more borders it's just like if you're good and you're willing to work, um, you can have an international career. It's just, I kind of like being outside of society. You know, I like being creative, you know, collaborating all day. Everything that's w wrong with the world in this day and age is because people aren't creative. It's not the creative people that are wrong with the world. It's the people that aren't creative. The people who are just like thinking about fucking dollars and cents and you know, getting as much money as possible or whatever. That's the unhealthy part of the world. It's so, it's just, it's a, it's a way to deal with the world. And uh, I couldn't do anything other than it. <laughs>